This is Floyd back with another review. Today I'm going to be showing you how I customized my Galaxy Note 10. Alright, so first things first, um, your launcher. Most people when they customize you need a launcher to start. Um, that's only if you don't like the default um, launcher that comes with the phone. But for me, I don't like the left-right swipe gesture. It just feels weird to me. And um, when you get to the home screen, I don't like for the name of each app to be under there because I like it to be clean and there's a lot of different gestures and things that you can use with launchers and I'll get further into that but once you download the app called Eevee I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, right here once you download it and you set it as your default um, home app to customize you hold hold the home screen go to settings and then it gives you all the options and we're gonna start at home screen so home screen you can change how many columns there are see it moved left to right you can change how many uh, rows there are and you can change the icon size bigger or smaller put it about there and uh, the hint for the app drawer, you can turn that off too because um, you're going to know how to get to your own apps without the hint being there. Um, the search bar, it could be at the top of your screen if you want it to be up there. I don't like it to be at the top, simple reason being I don't like to do weird stuff with my hand when I'm using it with one hand, so I turn that off. And uh, I dis uh, disable the EV feed, it's like whenever you scroll left. It looks like this. It shows you like news and stuff like that. I don't like it. So I leave that off. But I'm just showing you what it looked like. And I'm going to show you what this hint is too. I had it on there before. It's this little hint that says, you know, swipe up to get to your apps. But you don't need that there either to keep it, you know, clean. As much, you want as least as less stuff on your home screen as possible. Well, that's just the way that I like it. So... There's that. Now going into your icon pack. Oh, you can do um the dock too. I disabled my dock, but you know how iPhones are, where you have like the um the four apps at the bottom. If you'd like, you could do that, but to me, that's just trying to copy Apple too much, and I I never liked the dock anyway as it was. So there's that. All right, so this is the app drawer where all of your apps are on your phone. And you can change the amount of columns on here too, the app size. I don't want to mess with it because I like the way that it is now. But pretty much all you do is change it, configure it the way that you want it to have it. And um, you can have it the right size. You can create folders, stuff like that. Just like the normal one. But I like the scroll up and down feature of the EV app. Now going um, icon packs. You, uh, you'll notice that my icons aren't the same. They're circle, which I think is pretty cool to have circle. I always see square apps or round, square with rounded off um, corners. But, who is that? Anyway, I like the circle because it makes it look unique. You don't really see circle apps every day. And uh, the app that I use there is called Simple Icon. And where is it? It's this little app right here. This is what this is what it's gonna look like in the app store. <clears throat> but basically, it gives you different um, different choices. These are the new ones. Uh, you see, Clash of Clans got the barbarian. He's yelling. And you got the um, Xbox app down here, and it's green on the outside. You can change the different colors of them on here. So like if you look at mine, my Xbox app is white with a green on the inside, and my Clash of Clans is the the shield instead of the barbarian. So there's different um there's different designs, different colors, and they're all different shapes. So but I think that app is like a dollar, maybe two dollars. 
but to me it's, it's worth it to have your phone look unique and stand out from everybody else all right next we're gonna get into the gestures so another reason why I like to use the EV launcher and how I customize my phone I like to use my phone with one hand sometimes and Samsung they incorporated a lot of one-handed gestures into their new software they updated it but um, whenever I first got my phone I don't think they had all of these features out the gate so I got this launcher before any of the new stuff came so I've been using it ever since but for me I just like to swipe from the middle to get to the notification bar that's easier for me than to go all the way up to the top swipe down you know do all the extra stuff and two you just swipe up from there you get to your apps and I have all of my apps on the right hand side so I can easily get in and out of them like that I don't have to reach all the way over here or reach all the way up here it's just right here where I need it to be but as you can see everything is really clean there's no really nothing other than the wallpaper and the apps that I really need on the home screen and then I just think that's really cool how it bears circles like that but one last thing um, a lot of people they have the little buttons for the navigation bar and I'm going to show you how to get rid of it if you don't know how to already I know a lot of people do but you go into settings you go under display and you scroll down to navigation bar so out of the box a lot of people have these little buttons right here you press it to go home recent apps and back but you want to install do the full gestures now when you select it for the first time it'll have these little bars at the bottom of your screen to show you like this is back this is home you know XYZ but if you wanted to have more of a clean look you take off the hint the gesture hints and that'll be there'll be nothing there and it'll look really clean so this is just the way that I like to do it I like to keep my home screen home screen really really clean and then you know dive into it with whatever else that I need but this is just the way that I like um, and I feel like a lot of people will like it as well a lot of people don't know a lot a lot about the customization apps they just get the phone and use it as it is and I'm just showing you that there's different ways of doing it and this isn't the only launcher there's Nova launcher there's a uh, go launcher uh, there's a lot of different launchers, but I haven't messed with any of the other ones in the last two or three years. So I used to use Go Launcher way back in the day, but I don't know if they're any good now. But they were trash back then in comparison. But Android as a whole has changed a lot since you know I was using that stuff. So you know there's a lot of changes there. But this is just my Galaxy Note 10. I just wanted to share with you my customization and showing you where you can get the stuff all this stuff is in either in your settings or on the play store and I've only used two apps and the beauty of this um, you get to keep dark mode so you can keep all of these features from the stock one and one last thing don't use the themes from the galaxy store when you use the um the themes that change around your whole thing they change the dollar they change your keyboard um i would suggest to stay away from those because it changes the whole vibe of your phone and then whenever you try to do something different you don't have the the option of doing dark mode anymore so i just keep everything the same under that aspect and then i do the launchers so i can keep the the stock fill of my phone and then i can also change the things that I don't like using the launcher so that's all I have for this video um, just leave a like on this video if you liked it dislike if you didn't like it uh, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you would like and I'll see you on the next one bye